In this video, I will show you 5 common mistakes people make in Clash Royale. Let me know if you have done these. First mistake. Overcommitting or playing too aggressively. Many people just use all their elixir on a fence and then they don't have any elixir left for defense. Take this clip as an example. Player 1 used all his elixir for his attack for the enemy king tower. Player 2 defended the attack and is now attacking towards the player 1 tower. Player 2 has a lot of troops going towards the enemy tower. But player 1 doesn't have any troops on the board and only has 7 elixir. Player 1 couldn't defend the enemy attack because he used all his elixir on a fence. Here is another example. Player 1 uses Barbarians and Battle Ram to attack the enemy tower. Player 2 easily counters the attack with the Mega Knight and now Player 1 is in trouble. Player 1 has Elixir to defend the Mega Knight, but he doesn't have Elixir to defend the Prince. And just like that, Player 1 ended up losing his whole tower because he overcommitted on a fence. Mistake number 2. Wasting Elixir. It's usually not a good idea to let your Elixir bar go to the full 10 Elixir, because that's when you start leaking Elixir. It even says how much someone has leaked when you spectate them. It's almost always better to place a card rather than let your elixir go to waste. Take this clip as an example. Player 2 has a 4 elixir lead, but he decides to wait for the opponent to make a play. Player 2 ends up wasting 3 elixir because he waited for player 1 to make a play. Instead of waiting. Player 2 should have placed his Skeleton King or Baby Dragon from the back to prevent wasting Elixir. Here is another good example. For some reason, Player 2 didn't play his Musketeer as soon as he was about to hit 10 Elixir. Instead, he waited for a couple seconds and then played the Musketeer. He ended up wasting almost two whole Elixir in that time. So, that's why it is important to keep track of your Elixir and not waste it. Mistake number 3. Using a bad deck. Can you figure out what's wrong with this deck? Or this one? These decks are way too expensive. Their average elixir cost is over 5 elixir, and that's way too much. You simply won't have enough elixir to place down your cards when you want to. You should keep your deck's average elixir cost under 4. <coughs> but also over 2.5. <coughs> Do you know what's wrong with this deck? Or this one? These decks are missing spells. Spells are crucial because they can counter enemy swarms and also finish off low HP towers. Take this clip as an example. Player 1 only has Zap in his deck and the enemy tower has only 110 hit points left. Zap won't do enough damage to finish the tower. So player 1 ends up losing this game because of it. It's always good to have a big spell like fireball or poison in your deck or smaller spells like zap and arrows so you don't end up losing like this. Now that you have spells in your deck, let's talk about using them. Mistake number 4. Using spells ineffectively. I have seen so many missed opportunities and wasted spells so I had to include it in this video. When you're using a spell, you should ask yourself questions like can I hit multiple targets with the spell, or is it necessary to use my spell here? I just want you to start using your spells more effectively because I saw so many wasted spells when watching the replays. Mistake number 5. Playing when you're mad, also known as tilting. We have all had those games where we lost to a toxic player that wasn't even good at the game. Then you got mad and went straight to the next game and also lost that game. And all of a sudden you have lost 5 games in a row and you are even more mad than after the first game. When you get mad, you start playing more aggressively and start making bad plays. Whenever you get mad, you should take a break and do something else instead of continuing your losing streak and tilting even more.